Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for December 2, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, man arrested after revolver and ammo seized on Oakland Drive. An operation on Oakland Drive in St. Andrew led to the arrest of a man and the seizure of a revolver and three rounds of ammunition on Saturday morning. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 1.45 a.m., lawmen were in the area when they saw the man walking along the roadway. Upon seeing the police team, the man reported a ran and threw an object under a motor vehicle. He was caught and the object was retrieved. Closer examination of the object revealed that it was a .38 revolver containing 3.38 rounds of ammunition. His identity is being withheld pending further investigations. 383 killed in motor vehicle crashes include 11 killed this week, says RSU. A total of 383 people have perished in motor vehicle crashes since the start of the year, according to the latest statistics released by the Island Traffic Authority and the Road Safety Unit. According to the statistics, 11 of those persons, all males, perished during the week ending Friday, December 1. The latest fatalities include three motorcyclists, one private motorcar driver, one commercial vehicle driver, a driver of a public passenger vehicle, one PPV passenger, two pedestrians, a pedal cyclist, and a 17-year-old whose death is classified as other. Meanwhile, the 383 traffic victims were killed in 348 fatal crashes. Overall, there is a 14% decrease in fatalities or 60 fewer deaths when compared with the same period in 2022, the RSU said. It added that the fatal crashes are down 10% during the comparable period. The RSU said total fatalities projection as at October projects a decrease of 13% when compared with 2022. In the meantime, it lists the pedestrians as accounting for 18% of all road fatalities as at December 1. Motorcyclists accounted for 32%, private motor vehicle drivers accounted for 18%, private motor vehicle passengers made up 10%, while the group described as the most vulnerable, pedestrians, pedal cyclists, motorcyclists and pillion riders accounted for a combined 60%. Males and females accounted for 87% and 13% respectively of the road fatalities as of December 1, 2023. Gun found in shopping bag in Montego Bay seized the seized police. A firearm and four rounds of ammunition were seized during a joint police military operation on Salmon Drive in Montego Bay, St. James, on Friday. Reports are that about 12.45 p.m., lawmen were in the area when a four-bedroom house was searched, but nothing illegal was found. During the search of an open lot close to the house, a shopping bag was found beside the fence line. The bag was examined and one 9mm Smith & Wesson pistol and four rounds of ammunition were seen inside the bag. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure. Man dies after motorcycle collides with a truck in Clarendon. A motorcyclist that died after he collided with a stationary truck on the Sandy Bay Main Road in Clarendon on Friday night. His identity has not yet been ascertained. A police report said the man was traveling on his motorcycle when upon reaching the intersection of the old toll road and the Sandy Bay Main Road, he slammed into the left rear side of the truck parked in a dark spot. Police said the man died on the spot. Motorcyclist killed in Mandeville crash A motorcyclist died as a result of injuries he sustained in a crash on Caledonia Road in Mandeville on Friday night. Police named the deceased as Shamaria Thomas, 21, a resident of Comfort District in Manchester. A police report said that about 11.20 p.m., Thomas was riding a motorcycle in the vicinity of Gulfview Drive when he attempted to overtake a motor car, which was a turning right. He collided with the vehicle and was flung from the motorcycle upon impact. Thomas was taken to the nearby Mandeville Regional Hospital, where he died while undergoing treatment. St. Catherine man charged for ammunition possession gets a $200,000 bail. 
26-year-old Orville Buckner, who was allegedly held with her two rounds of ammunition, was granted bail in the sum of $200,000 when he appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Friday. Senior Parish Court Judge Desiree Elaine granted him bail on condition that he reports it to the Spanish Town Police Station on Mondays and reappears in court on February 15, 2024. It is alleged that on November 7, Buckner was at home along Carlitz Road, Spanish Town, when members of a police party swooped down on the premises and carried out a raid. During a search, two rounds of .38 cartridges were reportedly discovered in a pants pocket. Buckner was arrested and later charged with unauthorized possession of ammunition. JFJ wants a redefinition of rape in Jamaican law. Executive Director of Jamaicans for Justice, Michael Jackson, wants a re-examination of the definition of rape to take into account a forced anal penetration. At present, the Sexual Offenses Act defines rape as a penal vaginal penetration. Jackson wants the disparity to be removed from the penalty that will accrue to perpetrators. The perpetrator would get up to life imprisonment for penal vaginal. However, if I am penetrated anally by force, that perpetrator could only see a term of imprisonment of maximum 10 years because that person is going to be charged under the provision of buggery. Political will is necessary where there is a redefining of the definition of rape that deals with the seriousness of forced anal penetration. I don't think we can be talking about dealing with sexual violence and telling victims that if it is that you're forcibly penetrated anally, you're going to be getting less protection in law because your matter, despite how serious and heinous it is, is somehow being treated differently. Man killed in crash with his soldiers on patrol in Kingston. A motorist was killed and the two Jamaica Defense Force soldiers were injured in a crash along Upper Elliston Road in Kingston on Friday night. In a statement today, the GDF said it is collaborating with the police and other partners to ascertain the circumstances surrounding the collision. The Army explained that the soldiers in a service vehicle were carrying out the patrol duties along the roadway when the accident occurred. It happened around 11.23 p.m. The JDF said the driver of the civilian motor car was immediately transported to the Kingston Public Hospital for treatment where he succumbed to injuries sustained in the accident. It said two JDF service members were injured in the accident and were also transported to hospital for treatment. The Army has expressed their condolences to the family of the deceased motorist. The JDF is encouraging all road users to practice safe driving and observe the rules of the road, especially as the country approaches the festive season.